We have the super heavy champion here in Philippe Andrew and the ultra heavy bronze medalist in Bueno. Gonna cap off our European Championships of 2022. Both athletes looking happy and ready to go, very focused here for this next 10 minutes. Felipe Andres looks simply untouchable throughout this entire event. Pulls guard early. Let's see what Yatan has in store from, from top position. Nice cartwheel over her temp from Bueno. Starts to get some good traction, at least escaping out of that uh, elevation. Slides in the daily heave hook for a moment there. Also hanging off the lapel of Bueno. 45 seconds elapsed. We had a bit of a reset here back to the center. Same grips, everything looking right. Have a lasso with Felipe's right side. It's a nice grip break from Bueno stepping on the bicep, kind of ripping his hand out there. Sometimes that's the best way to clear those really tight grips. Get your leg involved. And makes a much better grip with his right hand now on the pant grip. Interesting position with Felipe's right side where he goes, instead of a lasso, he brings the leg across the body. And we just saw him use that to elevate Bueno a little bit, tilting him to the left. We've talked about it before, but Felipe Andrews guard retention is really second to none today. So impressive, has no problem inverting. Knees all the way to his chest. It's really hard to get past those weapons of his. Yeah, and, and one thing about Felipe Andrew that we said earlier that I find really intriguing about and why I like watching him so much is he's always like cool, calm, collected, and then boom, explodes, right? Super, you know, big, great triangle, crazy footlock, huge sweep attack, right? And it's like you never really know when it's going to come. It makes it, it, I almost feel on edge when I watch him because I never really know what's going to happen next. And I think it's probably one of the reasons why he's so successful with his opponents, too, because it's a false sense of security for a bit. Interesting 50-50 position here. Toehold attempt by Bueno. It's a lot he's of pressure. On that. He's definitely cranking, but Felipe Andrew hunting now for an ankle lock of his own. That is some rotation, though. That is some rotation from Bueno for sure. Otherwise, Felipe wouldn't be rolling. Felipe but now. a foot lock. One of his favorite attacks here. His footlock is so deadly. It's on Bueno playing with fire. He releases the footlock. We've seen Felipe finish that way before, hipping in over and over and over. It's still on. Bueno grimacing. It's definitely tight. This is probably the last place you want to be if you're Tom Bueno. Oh, but he releases the grip for now. But he certainly felt what Felipe Andrew has in store here. One advantage apiece for both of those leg lock attempts here. Some nice elevation here now from Felipe, but they are close to the edge. And we might see another toe hold here from Bueno on the edge. Potentially switching to a knee bar. Doesn't quite have the angle for the knee bar, but has a really good grip on the foot. Got to be very careful here on the edge. But if Felipe does roll to escape, it typically would be to the left, so it should be safe in this position. And he scores another advantage. Another advantage for the toehold. Not many athletes enter a footlock war with Felipe Andrew and <laughs> leave unscathed. Let's see if that has any effect throughout the battles. He definitely was grimacing throughout those exchanges, but Felipe was rather, as you said, stone-faced. Not that that ever changes. <laughs> It is interesting, though, you know, even after that, Bueno dove on another toehold. So he is willing to play with fire. He believes in his attacks. He must have felt something. He must have felt that his toehold was tight. He was willing to go for it again. 
but you know, to be in 50-50 now with Felipe Andrew is a dangerous place to be. This is a bit of a different 50-50 than we had a moment ago, kind of a double seated unless Bueno starts to come up all the way out to that knee. But Felipe kind of inviting him to do so, almost inverting a little bit there. Bueno not looking too insistent to exit the 50-50 either. We might see that change if he starts to underhook that top leg or push the knees down, but looking fairly comfortable here as Felipe tries to sweep him over. May come up to the top position and score two. Or in oh, the knee, knee bar. bar here. That's tight. Wow, big pressure there from Felipe. That was a lot of hip on that knee. <laughs> Scored an advantage, evened out the score, and back in 50 50 in the bottom. Very tactical decision there by Felipe Andrew. Yeah, Bueno certainly showing off his durability, absorbing a lot of different attacks here. Score is even, but say Felipe has definitely issued a little more damage. Yeah, it was a nice transition Felipe had. It was off of the sweep attempt, so he went for the sweep. Bueno defended the sweep. He rotated around for the knee bar. And I think he's feeling very comfortable with that line of attack, seeing as he's staying at 50-50, he's kind of trying to go underneath. Again, attacking that far leg. Under four minutes now left in this match. Some big heavy pressure for now from Bueno, but it may off balance him. It's a very difficult thing to do safely in 50-50 because your entire hip or one side of your lower half of your body is isolated by your other partners. So bringing your weight forward like that can be um, a little risky. And we're seeing that now with Felipe's ability to be able to tilt Bueno over a bit. We see Felipe hunting for the back here, potentially either calf slicer or coming up to the turtle position. Beautiful control of the ankle. He's going to try to keep him inside as Bueno tries to stand up or almost go out of the bounds, but beautiful control by Andrew to pull him back in. And he scores the two right now. Very savvy move by Felipe to drag uh, Bueno back into the center of the mat. Now he's hunting for the back. A little bit of the broomstick action there. Very close to the boundaries. We'll see a reset. Good move by our referees here. Yeah, great control by Andrew to pull him back in, score those two points. Not quite get to the back, but very, very dominant uh, exchange there by Philippe Andrew. It's kind of what I mean. I mean, he'll, he'll be moving slowly, things are kind of creeping along, and then boom, you know, big explosive movement. So we know that he has it. We just don't always know when he's going to use it. Going to reset here with the back clinch, 2.30 left to go. Big mat return here by Philippe Andrew, but Bueno right back up. You know, very relentless trying to stay standing here. Good work from Bueno to reset the position neutral on the feet. One advantage to Andrew. Two advantages to Andrew, excuse me. Added one more. Bueno a little accepting there of that guard pull. Philippe Andrew now really dictating the tempo of this match. Two minutes left, up by two, and two more advantages. Yeah, Andrew looking nice and relaxed here. I mean, this is his bread and butter. He's so strong in this position. Not only for the footlocks, I mean, of course, he, you know, we, he has his footlocks. We see him shoot up triangles from the double-seated position. Uh, we see him, you know, come up on top and start to pass. We see him sit back in a collar sleeve. So very comfortable here, you know, with less than... Two minutes ago, about a minute and 25 seconds. Strong lead. Accepting the bottom position will be okay. He's up on advantages, so very strong position here for Philippe Andrew. Guillermo, you know, if he comes on top, he will score the two, but he's going to be behind by those two advantages, so he's going to have to really get to work here in this last minute of the match. Philippe on a potential knee bar, though, here, or at least a 50-50 entry. 
Jeremy with some passing action here, though. Big control, Felipe's pant leg. Less than one minute to go, about 50 seconds. Bueno, really pouring on the pressure here. But the boundaries will be a problem. 45 seconds left. If Bueno commits any further, they'll be reset in the middle as we as we kind of stall out here right on the sidelines. Felipe needs to be careful tactically here because now they're in a standing position. They may award that too. Referee hasn't awarded it too, so they did not consider it a standing position. Typically they need to be standing for three seconds before they call the two. Although, nope, the referee has awarded two for the takedown. Felipe though with five seconds left, winning by those two advantages. Bueno pouring on the pressure, four seconds left. Wow, huge last minute flurry from Guillerme. Felipe Andrew looking very excited. Final advantage awarded for that last flurry to Bueno, but it will not be enough. Felipe Andrew captures another absolute title here at the European Championships. Amazing performance for him. Double gold. <laughs> Our last champion of the day with an incredible match from both gentlemen. And that caps our European 2022 champions. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to the IPJGF 2022 European Championships coverage. 